Oh, I wasn't expecting you here so soon. Hi, I'm Dermot Jackson from Trinity College Dublin, and I'm here to tell you about flow control. Come here for a sec. You see all these people down here? Well, these people have no idea about flow control. Let's explain this a little more. In terms of my PhD, flow control aims to modify the way in which a fluid flows over a body to reduce drag through active flow control. Drag is the force acting against the relative motion of an object through a fluid. It is the main force trying to slow us down, whether we are driving a bus, a car, or just cycling our bicycle. My research looks at the use of a device called a synthetic jet actuator to reduce drag. A synthetic jet actuator is a device comprised of a chamber with an oscillating diaphragm at one end and a slit on the other. As the diaphragm is pulled back, it forces fluid into the cavity. As the diaphragm then changes direction, it forces the fluid back through the slit. Due to fluid motion around an edge, this results in the fluid rolling up into a vortex ring, similar to that of a smoke ring. The vortex is then advected downstream and the process starts again. Tests are performed using a 750 litre water tunnel of my own design, measuring 3 metres long by 2 metres high. The test section of the water can reach speeds of up and over 3.5 metres per second. To put that into perspective, that's over a ton of fluid every 6 seconds. And in the midst of this device, we have a small cylinder with a synthetic jet actuator embedded within. This is what the vortices produced by a synthetic jet look like close up. The slit the vortices are emanating from is only one millimeter wide. To understand how a synthetic jet actuator reduces drag, first we must know how fluid passes over an object. If we place a cylinder into a cross flow, we can represent the flow through the use of streamlines. We can also see points of separation where the main body of the fluid is no longer in contact with the cylinder. This separation of fluid leads to an area of negative pressure within the wake. This area of low pressure produces a pressure differential between the front and the back of the cylinder, resulting in a large drag force. The larger the differential, the greater the drag. The length and width of the wake should also be noted. When a synthetic jet is activated, it fires vortices into the boundary layer of the fluid. The interaction of these vortices moves the separation layer downstream, while at the same time shortening the length and thickness of the wake, reducing the pressure differential, resulting in a reduction in drag while also producing a lift force. 